the tangent ratio. In your geometry class, you have been tasked with going outside and determining how high is the flagpole. Now you can climb the flagpole and rappel down with a yardstick, measuring each part along the way. But there must be a better way than this. Let's take a look at the tangent ratio. For an acute angle A in a right triangle, the tangent A is equal to the ratio of the leg opposite over the leg adjacent to angle A. Tangent A equals opposite leg over adjacent leg. Let's look at this a different way. If we have triangle ABC with A, B, and C being the vertices, and little a, little b, and little c indicating the length of the sides, we could write tangent a equals little a over little b, tangent b equals little b over little a. We cannot take the tangent of c, since that is the right angle, and we can only use the acute angles of the right triangle. So the tangent function is useful for relating angles and the corresponding sides of right triangles. Here I'm creating different similar triangles, but the tangent of angle A is always going to be equal to the corresponding opposite leg divided by the corresponding adjacent leg. So let's get back to our flagpole problem. We're no longer suspended from the top of the flagpole, but safely on the ground. And we can draw a right triangle here with our angle A being the inclination from our eye to the top of the flagpole. We need to find the adjacent side, D. We can measure this. We can measure angle A with a simple inclinometer. Then we can use tangent to find the opposite side, which is X. We can measure the height to our eye level. We'll call that Y. And finally, we can add x and y to get h, the height of the flagpole. 